Today I am at Riverview Cemetery in Portland, Oregon. We are revisiting the grave of lawman Virgil Earp. We have been here before, but today I wanted to come here to do a special video. Recently we were in the Los Angeles, California area and we visited Virgil's brother Morgan Earp earlier in the year back in April 2023 we were on a road trip through Colorado and we stopped and saw Doc Holliday's grave and then last year we were in the San Francisco area of California and we saw Wyatt Earp so I thought it would be really fun and neat to put all of them together in one video because they're brothers except for Doc Holliday but they all have that connection. They were all lawmen that fought at the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona. So here we are visiting Virgil Earp. The gunfight at the OK Corral was a 30 second gunfight between lawmen led by Virgil Earp and members of a loosely organized group of outlaws called the Cowboys that occurred at about 3 p.m. on Wednesday, October 26, 1881 in Tombstone, Arizona. It is generally regarded as the most famous gunfight in the history of American Old West. The gunfight was the result of a long simmering feud. Cowboys Billy Claiborne, brothers Ike and Billy Clanton, and brothers Tom and Frank McLaurie were on one side. On the other side were Deputy U.S. Marshal and Town Marshal Virgil Earp, his two brothers and special policemen Morgan and Wyatt Earp, and temporary policeman Doc Holliday. Billy Clanton and both McLaurie brothers were killed. Ike Clanton and Billy Claiborne ran from the fight. Virgil, Morgan, and Holliday were wounded, but Wyatt was unharmed. Wyatt is often erroneously regarded as the central figure in the shootout, as his brother Virgil was Tombstone's town marshal and deputy U.S. marshal that day and had far more experience as a sheriff, constable, marshal, and soldier in combat. Virgil made the decision to enforce a city ordinance prohibiting carrying weapons in town and to disarm the cowboys. Wyatt was only a temporary assistant marshal to his brother. The shootout has come to represent a period of the Old West when the frontier was virtually an open range for outlaws, largely unopposed by lawmen who were spread thin over vast territories. Despite its name, the gunfight did not take place within or next to the O.K. Corral, which fronted Allen Street and had a rear entrance lined with horse stalls on Fremont Street. The shootout actually took place in a narrow lot on the side of C.S. Fly's photography studio on Fremont Street, six doors west of the O.K. Corral's rear entrance. Some members of the two opposing parties were initially only about six feet apart. About 30 shots were fired in 30 seconds. Ike Clanton filed murder charges against the Earps and Holiday. After a 30-day preliminary hearing and a brief stint in jail, the defendants were shown to have acted lawfully. The gunfight was not the end of the conflict. On December 28, 1881, Virgil was ambushed and maimed in a murder attempt by the Cowboys. On March 18, 1882, a Cowboy fired from a dark alley through the glass door of Campbell and Hatch's saloon and billiard parlor, killing Morgan. The suspects in both incidents furnished alibis supplied by other cowboys and were not indicted. Wyatt, newly appointed as Deputy U.S. Marshal, then took matters into his own hands in a personal vendetta. The interpersonal conflicts and feuds leading to the gunfight were complex. Each side had strong family ties. The brothers, Virgil, Wyatt, Morgan, were a tight-knit family working together as lawmen. They had moved together from one town to another. Virgil served in the Union Army during the American Civil War and in 1877 became a police officer in Prescott, Arizona Territory. He followed that with a job as a night watchman before he became a constable. 
Wyatt had held jobs as either a guard or police officer in the cattle drive towns of Wichita and Dodge City, Kansas. Virgil and Wyatt, together with their wives, arrived in Tombstone on December 1st, 1879, during the early period of rapid growth associated with mining, when there were only a few hundred residents. Virgil was appointed Deputy U.S. Marshal shortly before he arrived in town. In the summer of 1880, Morgan also moved to Tombstone. Wyatt arrived, hoping he could leave lying behind. He bought a stagecoach, only to find the business was already very competitive. The Earps invested together in several mining claims and water rights. The Earps quickly came into conflict with Frank and Tom McLaury, Billy and Ike Clanton, Johnny Ringo, and William Curly Bill, among others. They were part of a large, loose association of cattle smugglers and horse thieves known as the Cowboys, outlaws who had been implicated in various crimes. Ike Clanton was prone to drinking heavily and threatened the Earp brothers numerous times. Among the lawmen involved in the O.K. Corral shooting, only Virgil had any real experience in combat. Virgil had been constable in Prescott, and was the Deputy United States Marshal in Tombstone. He was appointed Deputy U.S. Marshal for Eastern Pima County by U.S. Marshal Crawley Dake on November 27, 1879, before the Earps arrived in Tombstone on December 1st. He was appointed as Tombstone's Acting Town Marshal on September 30, 1880, after popular Tombstone Town Marshal Fred White was accidentally shot and killed. Wyatt had been a deputy city marshal in Kansas, as well as deputy sheriff in Tombstone. Only six weeks later, Virgil ran for the office on November 12, 1880, but lost to Ben Sippy. However, on June 6, 1881, Sippy asked for a two-week leave of absence. A few days later, Virgil was appointed as town marshal in his place. At the time of the gunfight, Virgil was both deputy U.S. Marshal and town marshal. The city suspended him as town marshal after Ike Clanton filed murder charges. After Wyatt first arrived in Tombstone, his business efforts yielded a little profit, and he took a job as a stagecoach shotgun messenger for Wells Fargo, guarding shipments of silver bullion. On July 28, 1880, Wyatt was appointed Pima County Deputy Sheriff, he held this position for only three months, until after the election of November 9, 1880, when he was resigned. When Virgil was maimed by an assassination attempt, Wyatt was appointed Deputy U.S. Marshal in his place. He held that position until he left in April 1882. Morgan Earp came to his death in the city of Tombstone on the 18th of March, 1882, by gunshot wound. He is buried at Hermosa Garden Cemetery in Colton, California. On November 8, 1887, John Henry Doc Holliday died of tuberculosis in a rented room at the Hotel Glenwood in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. He is buried at Linwood Cemetery in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Virgil Earp died at age 62 of pneumonia on October 19th. 1905 in Goldfield, Nevada. He was buried in Portland, Oregon at the request of his daughter at Riverview Cemetery. Wyatt Earp was the last surviving participant of the OK Corral shootout. He died at his home in Los Angeles, California, possibly of chronic cystitis on January 13, 1929 at the age of 80. After his death, Josephine Earp had Wyatt's body cremated secretly and his remains buried at her family plot at the Hills of Eternity Memorial Park in Colma, California. The first marble headstone was stolen. The recovered headstone is now on display in the Colma Historical Museum. Wyatt Earp's grave is the most visited place in Colma, California. Thank you for joining me today on our adventure to Riverview Cemetery in Portland, Oregon to visit Virgil Earp. I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
with the other Earp brothers and Doc Holliday included from my previous travel adventures. Speaking of travel adventures, I would love to visit Tombstone, Arizona. So we are making that our next bucket list. Hopefully we can go there in 2024. We shall see. Until then, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Rest in peace, Virgil, Wyatt, Morgan, and Doc.